So today we are doing some struts and shock replacement on our 08 Escalade all-wheel drive. And uh, this one is equipped with the electronic shock absorption on it. But I didn't really like it because it seems kind of jittery. And I don't know, since this vehicle is getting older, that it doesn't probably matter too much if I put that back on there. So I've decided to go with some uh, regular gas shock absorbers. But what I gotta do is trick that electronic system into believing that it still has the electronics. So what I have to do, I read up on it and it says you can put a, a 4.7K ohm resistor in line. So I was just gonna show you um, how to do that. If you do plan on doing even the regular shock replacement or strut replacement in the front um, with either of them, um, it's pretty simple actually, you know, you just have to take the tire off and uh, the bottom two bolts hold the bottom and then the top has three bolts that uh, hold it up on top. You have to disconnect the connector. You can see this is the wire that does the electronics. I have the connector on the table in there, so I'll show you how to hook up that uh, resistor. But you just have to disconnect the wires and it'll drop straight out of there. You just have to take it uh, off the here just push it this way it'll drop down and you can uh, pick it up and take it right out of there so it's not hard to do if you're going to do those springs and just keep your springs and replace i would highly recommend getting a set of these uh, spring compressors i picked these up at the local parts place these are really nice i think they're the mcpherson strut and uh, they're really strong so they can do the job good safest way to do it and then also if you're taking that bolt off the top i found out you got to get you some really long uh, deep wells. And so I got some six point real long deep wells down at my favorite little Harbor Freight store uh, for $19.99 with a 20% off coupon. And got that whole set, but those are necessary because you can't get past the top of the rod because it's so long with that electronics on it. So we'll go in here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to uh, get set up so here's the old strut and what it had uh, once you look at it you'll see it's got this little nut on top and the nut is where the connector hooks to so this is a connector and that wire I was playing with goes on that end it normally sits right on the end of that and so it's little uh, wire in the middle goes down through the center and goes on down and then it hooks to the outside and so it makes its connection. So what we want to do to make this so that I can reverse it if I want to is, I'm not gonna use this, it's not any value, but what I was gonna do is keep part of this shaft. And so if you look over here, I've already cut the other one. So this is the end of the shaft right there. And what I did first was cut it back here. So somewhere along this area, so cut it somewhere back here first. And what that does is give you some extra wire length for your inside wire. Because you can see right here, this little yellow part, that's what's inside of it. So if you cut it all right there, you're going to cut the end of it off. So I cut it back here. And you can see somewhere right around here. That way it leaves this long. And so you'll have something to connect your resistor to. And so all I did was cut it loose and then cut this metal part back again uh, right here. Once I cut it there to get the wire out, I took the inside part out and then cut it back here to get the end. And so then this is the end of it. That's the little wire that's inside of it. And so all I did was solder a 4.7 K ohm resistor to the side of this and around into the loop. So this is simulating what's inside of the strut. And so what we'll be able to do then is, or you can do, so you can reverse this whole thing, is just put this guy down in the connector, and he goes and fits in there just like it would fit on top of the strut. And then, all I'm going to do is take some of the shrink tubing and put it over the top of that, and shrink it all down so it's nice and tight, but the end of the shrink tubing is still open. And so I figure something easy to do is I'll just take the inside out of the syringe and cut a little small piece of it, put it down inside of there, and then when I shrink wrap it, 
the little rubber part of the syringe will seal it up. That way it'll be nice and sealed up so it won't get any contamination in it or water getting slung up inside of there. So this looks like how we're going to do it. Like I say, you can get these resistors for a couple bucks off uh, eBay. I got them. And then hopefully I can get this thing put together and try it out without this electronic stability. And it should be as good. If it isn't for some reason or if I decide to switch it back, then all I have to do is take these loose from the connectors when I buy the new struts. Then I can just pop the connector back on there and there's nothing been modified. I didn't cut any wires or anything like that. So hopefully this is going to work out good. Uh, once I get it all put back on there, I will continue the video and then we'll see if we have any uh, dash lights come on after we get them put on there and fire the vehicle back up. All right, so we got our little resistors put on and we're not showing anything on the dash that would tell us that we have any difference in our suspension well, all righty so there we go we got our little connector put on and we got our our non-electronic uh, struts on the front so we should be good to go we'll see if it gives any faults if it does give some faults we'll have to figure it out but everything i read on the other sites on the internet say that that 4.7 k ohm resistor will do the trick to let it believe that it's still running the electronic suspension Alrighty, well thanks for watching.